So I've been asked to make a video about um, what is the thing with Teslas and how they drive themselves. Well, basically, um, I'm going to show you what happens on a Hardware One system. There are Tesla has Hardware One and Hardware Two for navigation, and Autopilot is. Uh, you know, obviously Hardware 2 is a lot better. It's faster. They got more cameras on, on the vehicles that come with uh, Hardware 2. Hardware 1 is what I have. This is the uh, Model S 85D. And basically what you do is on the left side of the car, you have, you have your turn signal and you have your, uh, your navigation signal, right? So navigation and turn signal. So this little one, if you just pull it in one time, it'll do uh, cruise control, what everybody's super familiar with. And I'm sorry about the video, I'm holding the camera in my hand. If you press it in twice, it will do uh, the autopilot where you can see on the screen, this, this blue thing shows you you're an autopilot. The blue lines here tells you that it as a car can recognize the lane it's in and um, what it'll do without you having to do anything right I'm not I'm not really doing anything you got to keep your hands on the steering column uh, just to hold it because it has sensors that will remind you if you're not and if you um, and but you don't have to drive it it drives itself so like right now my, my hands up here right the car is making this turn it's hard to tell but we're, we're making the turn um, but I have to keep my hand on the wheel. If you fail to keep your hand on the wheel, the car will remind you a few times. I'm gonna, here, I'll, I'll do it so you can see what the notice looks like. Um, I might have my hand too close to the sensor so I might notice, um, but it'll give you a notice. Right now, apply light force to the steering wheel. So I put my hand there. If I fail to do that for, I don't know what the specific term is, but it could be anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, it will disable the uh, auto steer, the, the capability of navigation um, for autopilot, it will disable it for that trip. And you basically have to pull the car over, I, I'm assuming turn it off and turn it back on and uh, put up a new trip on your navigation thing and then you're good to go. But um, but that's, that's the basics of how the whole autopilot system works. It will also recognize, there's a few other things, so let me, let me mention those before I end here. Um, it will recognize how close you are to the cars in front of you. You notice like there's that truck on the right. My system sees that there is a vehicle up on the right. Um, and it's now about to see the other car in front of it, I think. So, um, but bottom line, it, it sees things around it. It will slow down if there's a vehicle in front of it. It, it clearly isn't gonna smash into the vehicle in front of it. What it won't do is stop at a red light or a stop sign. Doesn't know It doesn't know those things, and, and at least in hardware one. Um, but definitely knows vehicles in front of it and it can slow down before that. And then if you want to uh, turn lanes, so for example, nobody's in the, the lane to my left. Um, if I look in the mirror, there's a car now in the left lane. Um, so I'm not gonna do it right now. And I put my hand back on the steering column here, uh, the steering wheel. The, um, if I want to turn lanes, I just turn the turn signal into the lane I wanted to go in, the car will look to see if there's a vehicle there. If there is, it won't turn. And if there isn't, it'll change the lanes for you. So it's pretty intuitive. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the right, and just so you can see, it moved me into the right lane. Now, it didn't just do it, it um, and see how it puts me back in my lane. It recognizes this outside lane. It does it, and um, it doesn't just do it haphazardly. It does it because it checked first, although I checked as well, but um, but I noticed that it always checks. Now I'm coming up on this truck, and notice we're going 77, and notice that truck's right there. So I'm starting to slow down, and I'm not doing anything. It's slowing me down to, seven, to the speed of that truck. So you can see this thing works pretty well, and now it's going 68 because that truck's slowing down even more. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate the comments. Like, subscribe, do whatever. I uh, hope the video is helpful. Have a great day.